Welcome back to my channel guys. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get into this fall look. First I'm going to prime my face with the Hydro Grip Primer from Milk Cosmetics and Skin Tune Blur from Frost Alley. Now I love using these primers. They're not heavy at all and together they provide me with a smooth buttery base. So next, I'm going to set my primer with my Laura Mercier translucent powder in medium deep. I'm going to use a damp sponge to apply the powder so that it kind of soaks into my skin. And what this step kind of provides for me is a nice coverage prior to applying my foundation. And in turn, I don't have to use as much foundation. Now I'm using this orange corrector by LA Girl Cosmetics to cover the dark mark across my nose. I'm going to use that same translucent powder as well to blend that corrector in. And I'm only going to do that so that it's a little more flush with the skin and doesn't shine through the foundation. It's brow time. I'm using the ABH Dip Brow in Ebony to outline my brows. Now look, this would have been easier if my brows were actually arched, but I may do. I'm also using this Brow, Ball, brow Boss pencil from ColourPop in Dark Brown for the front. And I can't remember right now what I used to clean them up with, but everything will be linked below. It's eyeshadow time. To prime my eyes, I'm going to apply the rumor base in shade number two. Now, excuse my struggle. <laughs> I'm coming to the end of that too, but I'll blend that out with a bigger brush so it's nice and smooth for the eyeshadow application. For my transition color, I'm using Madagascar from the Nubian 2 palette. First I'll pack it on a bit and then I'll just use some swiping motions just to get it all blended out. Next, I'm going to use Ashanti from the Tri Palette to add a tad bit of depth to our transition color. Now, as I apply this, I'll also go back in with Madagascar to keep it from getting lost in Ashanti. Now for the fall of it all. Let's add brown from the box of crayons palette to really deepen the look, you know? And as I did earlier, I'm gonna use the previous colors to kind of keep them all independent and keep them from muddling together into one color.
Now that it's cut crease time, I'm gonna use the rumor base in shade number two again. And I'm only doing a half cut crease today because I definitely wanna keep this look as warm as possible. To set this base, I'm going to use Kessie from the Magic Palette and that's just going to help prevent any ripples or any creases that come about after I apply Coro from the Tribe Palette. Now if you've ever noticed, when you use shimmery shadows, sometimes if you apply them on top of a wet base, they will give you this nasty crease and it kind of causes your look to look a little incomplete. Well that's the whole point of me using Kessie to set the base so that I don't get any of those ripples and everything looks nice and smooth. Before I move on to foundation, I'm gonna do a quick lip scrub. I'm using the Tarte Pout Prep Lip Exfoliant, and once I wipe it off, I'm gonna moisturize my lips with the Rosehip Oil from Acure. I really love this oil. Not only do I use it on my lips, but I use it on my face on a regular basis as well. So to save time, I put my lashes on off camera as well as a white liner on my waterline. And now I'm gonna apply my Born This Way foundation from Too Faced in the shade Chai. Now I'm gonna apply it in the dot method to try to save a little product and not use too much because we all know foundation ain't cheap. And I'm gonna blend it out with a sponge and then I'm gonna go in with a bigger brush just to give it a super soft look. So I'm going to use some of that translucent powder from earlier to go over the different spots on my face that get a little oily and sometimes my pores tend to seep through on those spots and then it just kind of looks like there's no makeup there. <laughs> Highlight my face using the concealer from the Born This Way line in the shade Chestnut. And once I apply it, I'm going to let the concealer sit for about two minutes before blending it out. And that just helps the highlight last longer in my opinion. And I'm going to blend it out the same way I did my foundation. And that's going to be with a sponge first and then with a fluffy brush. Now I tend to blend my highlight in a certain order. I always begin with my upper lip and I end with my under eye. Now to me it kind of allows the under eye areas a little more time to settle in. And when I blend my under eye I always start from the bottom to the top and I lightly blend when I get closer to the inner corners. Now I do this because it's a sponge I'm using so think about it a sponge soaks things up. And we're not trying to soak up all the makeup and all the concealer that we put in this little corner to hide these bags because honey they are there and we don't need everybody to see.
Now I'm gonna set my highlight with the RCMA Colorless Powder. It's definitely a great product. It's actually one of my favorites because you'll only get a flashback if you overdo it. So if you're packing it on too much or if you let it sit too long, you're overdoing it. Now I don't bake necessarily. I just let it sit long enough for me to put on bronzer and then I'll dust it away. Here I'm adding my highlight to the inner corners and then to the rest of my face. And what I'm using is House Party from Beats by Boom. And then I'm gonna set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray before I apply my lipstick. Let's go ahead and finish up this makeup look with some lipstick. Now first I'm going to use Cherry Skies by NYX and follow behind it with Lace Detail also by NYX and a gloss. And that's just going to give it this nice ombre glossy effect. And here's our finished look guys, thanks for watching.